Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's Bitcoin technical analysis. Currently we are still trading sideways. So right now I'm still not in a trade. Bitcoin is getting boring again. So somehow I like also this kind of a break because uh, it is time to a bit clear your mind getting ready for the next big move and I still think we are in the calm before the storm. Bitcoin currently still trading sideways and even though we are having these big weeks to the downside but also upside at the end we are just coming back down to the same level as we were before and now everyone is waiting here for a breakout. Also here in the one hour it looks like that we are forming again another wedge which could break out anytime soon and the targets here of course are again between 9900 if we break to the upside even down here to $9,560 if we break to the downside. And all in all currently I'm okay with the price I'm still expecting a huge bull run coming very soon but of course there is still a chance that we maybe could see one last drop one last big dump to scare the last people out of the market before we start the real bull run. The only thing what makes me believe that maybe we don't see a possible dump is that the stock market currently is still pumping like crazy and also here you can see that the previous resistance line is now acting as a support so this is the futures chart and even if you go to the normal S&P you can see that currently we are trading above the previous resistance line so we are trading now with a three thousand dollar level support and here in theory we should see a big spike to the upside coming up pretty soon so currently we're still looking very bullish here in the stock market even though we are creating very soon new all-time highs and we're coming to the top so if the stock market is continuing to pump i think also in bitcoin we're gonna see that and possibly not gonna see here a major dump anymore but of course if the stock market would start to plunge then maybe keep an eye also on bitcoin because bitcoin could very easily also follow it because a possible dump is in the cards and uh, here in the one hour currently if we start with the lower time frames you can see that also we are still flat here with all the moving averages all are around nine thousand seven hundred dollar we are also touching this main resistance line this red line that is coming down here in theory even if we break out here to the upside we could reach here a target of ten thousand three hundred even up to ten thousand six hundred dollar and from there getting rejected so as long as we're staying in this green channel here we don't see a clear breakout and stochastic currently is oversold rsi right at the 50 so here also it is a bit undecisive where we are heading to next but since we are again touching here the main resistance i think a possible dump here at least in the lower time frames is possible same like we have seen also here in the last couple of days and if we go over to the bollinger band also here you can see that we are still trading here in the middle area so in theory also here everything is possible we could easily push it towards the top of 9800 but also easily come down here towards 9700 dollar i think most likely we will have maybe a retest here of 9700 because also the macd is now shifted to the downside but uh, yeah we have to see how the next candles are gonna close here in the one hour time frame but as i told you so far we are not seeing any big moves uh, coming up so far so everything is like waiting on the sideline even if you go here to the four hour time frame you can see that all the moving averages are coming together slowly because the price is just boring trading sideways which sometimes it's also good a little bit to relax and don't be too much stressed with all these big pumps and dumps that usually we're seeing so also here stochastic is currently coming from overbought condition back down here let's cool it off a little bit and also the rsi is still flat so also here you see we are trading along the 20 moving average in the four hour which is a good sign but also here all the moving averages are coming together because we're just trading sideways so in my opinion they don't have so much significance anymore when we're trading so sideways like now especially here in the lower time frames and if we go over to the four hour 
here also you can see that we in theory are still trading in the upper area so we can trade here between 9700 up to 9850 and if we drop we can go down to 9500 dollar as well macd is also still flat so also here i would say in the lower time frames it doesn't really tell us much where we are heading to and even if we would go down or up here to the bollinger band limits here in the one hour or four hour this would be just a 100 to 200 dollar move nothing really significant but if we go to the higher time frames here it looks a bit different because if we zoom out here a little bit you can see that we are in the daily still forming this potential rising wedge which could break out to the downside and currently we have the main resistance here at around ten thousand three hundred sixty dollar which is giving us resistance so we have to see if we are staying in this rising wedge if we can push through this main resistance or here it's gonna end and we're gonna break out here to the downside which i think could happen as long as we're trading below 10360 as soon as we're gonna break this line even if we stay in this potential bearish pattern i think the chance is very high that we could even break out here to the upside even though we are in a bearish pattern but as long as we're staying below 10360 i'm more leaning to a bearish breakout here to the downside even though we have uh, so far the 20 daily moving average as a support but as you can see we are testing it already many times now so usually this is a bad sign the more we test it the more weaker it gets so a breakout here to the downside so if we lose here this 20 daily moving average this could indicate the start of a potential um, pullback here a correction towards eight thousand dollar rsi is right at the 50 stochastic is coming down into from neutral territory down almost to oversold but not yet we still have some room uh, left to go so here in the daily all in all even even though it looks uh, very bullish also here we have some signs that we could see a breakout to the downside here towards 8k and if we go over to the daily time frame here also MACD completely flat trading right in the middle of the Bollinger Band so also here in theory we could push it towards 10,300 or even fall towards 8,800 dollar so also here we have mixed feelings I still think a possible dump it could happen especially if we see the stocks maybe having a correction all in all it looks still very bullish for the higher time frames but as I told you be ready also in case that we're falling so don't panic sell in the opposite think about to maybe buy one of your last cheap bitcoins ever because maybe we will never come back to those levels again and if we go over to the weekly here it looks even more bullish we are still trading here above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average stochastic is overbought that is now for a couple of weeks already rsi is just trading above the 50 so also here we have a lot of room left to the upside and even if you open up the bollinger band you can see that we have a lot of room to the upside towards 11,500, but even down towards eight thousand dollar macd is also still shifted to the upside so also here in the weekly as I told you in the many times in the last couple of videos the weekly chart is the most bullish chart right now and also it is the most important one because it's for the higher time frames and that's why very important and very bullish for the long-term outlook for the short term maybe there will be a dump maybe not let's keep an eye also what the stocks are doing so far they're still pumping but if we see there a major correction be ready that most likely also in the crypto space we're gonna see something similar and remember guys make sure to be ready for the biggest breakout that maybe we have ever seen here if you're gonna break here to the upside so not only be ready with your portfolio but also be ready to trade it even with a small amount of, of money because if we're gonna see this next coming up big bull run then you for sure you want to long it and for sure it doesn't matter with what amount even with one dollar or whatever if you catch the long there as soon as we're gonna have a breakout and the big bull run is starting which could take for months or years till it's gonna end for sure you want to long that one because this could be the trade of your life even if you do just a ten dollar one dollar one hundred dollar trade here on bybit for example you can trade up to 100x so even with a small amount of money you can make a big gain and if you still need an account we have currently a big 100 dollar bonus if you open up an account with my link 
because if you open up a link and you put a 0.2 Bitcoin within the next two weeks, you will get an additional $100 extra from Bybit next to the $90 that you anyway get when you sign up with my link that you find down below here in the video description. And therefore you have to do some stuff to get all the rewards here. But if you put only this 0.2 bitcoins deposit on your exchange you don't have to trade with it just put the deposit you will get within the next three days this 100 dollar bonus so even if you open up an account with my link don't forget until the 20th of june to put this deposit of 0.2 bitcoin otherwise this 100 dollar will not arrive to your account and you can claim only this normal 90 dollars that bybit is giving to you and if you need also some other exchanges where you can trade other assets, altcoins, you can use the exchange Femex, PrimeXPT or BTR to find all the links down below here in the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus so you can start to trade with that money completely riskless and please join also our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome shout out to all the members that are on discord we have a really great community and also we are sharing all of our strategies and trades so make sure also to join the free discord trading chat and when something crazy is going on i always go live over on twitch so make sure also to join the Twitch channel. You find both links down below here in the video description. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching and we see us all in the next one. Bye.